did our shooting videos the other day and didn't uh, add this one into the, the lineup. I'm sure most of you already know what this is. It's a SPAS 12, SPAS 12. It's a semi-automatic or pump action, whichever you prefer, 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, it's got a threaded barrel. You, it'll accept uh, different chokes. There's some custom outside chokes for the gun that adjust the spread pattern of the shot on the go. It's got a 7-in-1 capacity magazine tube. Uh, you've got your safety here and then you've also got a M16 or an M14 or Garand style flip on the trigger. So you can pull the trigger with the gate down and it will not go off, flip it up and the gun will go off. Right now it's in semi-automatic mode. It will lock back if there's no ammunition and uh, it's got a bolt release similar to like an M16 or an M4. Just push that and the bolt will come forward. Uh, your markings up here on top, A and M, uh, designate which mode the gun is in, whether it's in semi-automatic or pump action. The first notch is automatic and the second is uh, semi-automatic pump action. Uh, the way that you switch this is a button right here on the bottom of the pump. This needs a little bit of oil. If you push that in, this was uh, you're generally going to be shooting double op buck for a combat operation and they had enough gas power to cycle this bolt beanbag rounds specialty things of that nature from what I understand they don't most of them don't uh, so what you would do is you would bring it into semi or pump action mode rack your gun and it would depress the switch here and that locks the magazine tube from loading a new round into the, the tray. You then manually insert your specialty beanbag round, door buster, whatever, push your release forward and wreck your slide forward. That would put it back into firing mode. And then you could fire your beanbag round, your door buster, whatever it would could then be put back into semi-automatic mode and fire it as normal so that's the SPAS 12 uh, I see them going for about 1300 I picked mine up for under 7 I got a good deal on it this is one of the last models made it's got the solid synthetic stock. I just at the time had the standard sights on it and uh, hopefully look forward to getting out and shooting this sometime.